John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. A uh, beautiful sunny day here in Orange County. It is damn hot, 90 degrees right now, which is why I am not driving the Jaguar. <laughs> uh, nine, convertibles are great in sunny days, and today is a sunny day, but when it gets above 90, it's it's too hot. It's too hot. Generally, it, usually when it gets that high, I, I put the top up, so I figure I'll just, I'll just take the Tesla. So. Anyway, I'm picking up Sally from BBS, and then we are going for lunch. Going for lunch, that's right. So, uh, gonna be good, gonna be good. Anyway, I wanna talk about something called the habit loop. And the habit loop is something I discovered while reading this new book called The Power of Habits. And The Power of Habit is part of our new dot-com lifestyle book club. So tomorrow is the we're gonna have a meetup to discuss this book, and we are all supposed to read the first three chapters. So uh, I read the first three chapters, and tomorrow we'll be talking about it. And it's been an interesting book. If, if you uh, if you want to learn more about habits and how to develop good habits, how to change bad habits, or how to stop bad habits, or how to replace a bad habit with a good habit, this is definitely a book worth getting. And uh, if you want to follow along in our dot com last stop book meetup, you could this is the book we're reading right now, and this is uh, being a very very good reader. I've, I've learned quite a quite a few things, and what I what I to help me better understand the book, I figured the best way to do it after I re, after I read a few chapters, I would summarize it in a driving video. So uh, today, I uh, first three chapter talks about what's called the habit loop. And the habit loop is known by psychiatrists, psychologists, marketers. You understand? And the reason the habit loop is what causes a habit. Basically, there's, there's three components. There's actually an, a fourth component, but that's for a future discussion. But three components are basically uh, called QR. QR, Q, that means the Q, something that triggers the habit. The next R is then the routine, you know, what you do. The routine you do have like a like say smoking a lot of bad habits smoking don't do it bad habit but you know the cue what triggers a habit of you lighting up a cigarette the cue could be anything it could be seeing a pack of marlboro seeing someone else smoke that's the cue triggers off in your brain and then the routine and the routine of course you open your pack of marlboro take it out you strike the match or you light it up and you huff and puff that's the routine and the last part of the habit loop is the reward. Like after you got the cue, you did a routine, you expect a reward at the end. The reward is you might be more relaxed, release some stress. I don't, I don't know what kind of reward people who smoke think they're getting, but there's, there is always some type of reward. So always there's a cue that triggers the habit, the routine that's actually doing it. And then the reward, it's you know what you get at the end. So you know, for smokers, that's the cue. I see a cigarette, I see somebody smoking, that's a cue, triggers it, habit, light up, and then the reward, I guess, relax, right? So, uh, and no matter what it is, you do it, you do this enough, this will start what's called a habit loop, and advertising the same way. Uh, when, when, uh, when Febreze, I uh, use example of several, uh, several examples of how companies get people to start a habit loop. Uh, Febreze was one of them, and then the one was uh, toothpaste, toothpaste. And back when, back in the 50s or 30s or whatever it was, only 6% of people actually brushed their teeth, used toothpaste. And how they started to have a loop was, they just told someone to lick your teeth, see the film. The, that's how I saw it, lick your teeth, feel the film. Precedent gets rid of the film, and your teeth is clean. So. The cue is lick your teeth, feel the film. You feel this, yeah, you, this is natural. Everyone has film on their teeth, but this was how they did it. Lick your teeth, instantly, that's your cue. You lick your teeth, you feel the film, you feel the film. And if you and the reward is if you brush your teeth, the film is gone and your teeth is clean, All right? So people, they saw the ad, lick your teeth, they did. They go, oh, there is a film. They started using precedent, brushing, and then after the film, film is gone. They feel clean. That's the reward. Clean teeth. 
right? Smiling teeth, white teeth, well, whatever. So the cue, the good teeth, the routine, the reward. Always, always those three items. Cue, routine, reward. And that is the habit loop. Then this, so how to supply the internet marketing? Well, if you know this, if you can get people to into a habit, like come to my blog every single day, then the reward to me is, is natural. Like if I can get people to come to my blog every single day, like in, in, to the point where it becomes a habit, then there's, well, if you look at this, if you look at the power of that, that's, that's amazing, right? That's like, it's Facebook has become a habit for a lot of people. It's a habit. It really is. I mean, people go every day, they have to go to Facebook because they don't know, they don't want to know why. A lot of them don't even know why anymore. They just know that every day they turn the computer or they, they look at the phone, they know that they, they click on Facebook. And now we're at a point while, we're at a point now where most of you don't know why they're going to Facebook. They just know that. They just, every time they, every time they look at the phone, Facebook. Every time they go on the internet, Facebook. Facebook has turned into a habit for people. And that's why Facebook is so bloody big now. So, if you can make something a habit, you can become rich. And so that's uh, that's what I learned so far from the first three chapters for the habit loop. And uh, I hope you got some value out of that and you learn, you know. So, if you want to change your habit, what you do is uh, you look at the cues that is setting off this habit. Like, good habit, bad habit. Look at the cue. What is triggering that habit? Look at the cue. You're smoking or drinking or some kind of addiction, whatever, or exercising. Well, what triggers that cue? And then ask yourself, and then find out what is the reward at the end. Like, you know, like this is the cue that triggers it. Then what's the reward? See, and here's a key to changing a habit. The cue and the reward, there's always a cue, always a reward. The routine is what you change. So if you're a smoker and you know the cue and you know the reward, all you got to do is change the routine. So what, whatever like triggers you to want a cigarette, instead of going through the routine of lighting up, you change the routine to something else. Maybe talking to someone, uh, going for a jog, going on Facebook, something like that. So whatever cue triggers the wanting the cigarette, just replace it with a different routine. And that's how, that's, that's called, that's how they ch people change habit. And basically the cue and the reward is still the same, just switch the routine. And so the habit loop continue, but you just replace the habit. So that's another thing I learned in the book. So I hope you get value from that. And uh, like I said, do pick up a copy of the book. Uh, I'll, I'll have the link in my blog, so you can you can get a copy of it on Amazon. It's you know it's like nine, I feel like ten bucks for the Kindle edition, pretty cheap. But yeah, first three chapters, uh, I like it. I'm looking forward to reading the rest. Looking forward to sharing what I learned with you guys. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.